Hey you guys, I'm going to teach you how to walk with a knife and um, how to deal with the knife washing and um, uh, cutting with it. Um, I'm in my home kitchen. It's a mess right now because we haven't done the dishes, but uh, that's okay. So when you get a knife, here it is. It's the chef's knife. You want to walk with it, blade down, hand on your handle, blade to the back, and you want to say knife when you're walking. That way it tells the people around you that you have a knife and that they need to be aware and be conscientious of where they are in relationship to you who has the knife. If you need to pass the knife to somebody, you're gonna put it in your hand, you're gonna grab the spine of the knife like this, and then you would pass it to the other person so that they can grab the handle. So that's how you walk with the knife. Knife! Okay, next. In, when you're cutting, if you have a house that's got a big, huge cutting block like we do at our home, you could have two people cutting because it's a lot of space. But in our classrooms, we just have small cutting boards. So it, the rule is always one cutting board, one knife, one set of hands. You should not have more than one person cutting on a cutting board at a time in our classroom. So one knife, one cutting board, one set of hands. That's the deal with that. Um, washing a knife. I'm going to teach you face-to-face -face on how to wash a knife, so we won't worry about that right now. Um, that's it. 